Hi. Welcome to another movie plot. Spoilers ahead. High school girl Buffy Summers performs cheer routines in front of her boyfriend Jeff. She spends most of her free time shopping with her stuck-up friends at the mall, and has recently been getting stalked around by a stranger named Merrick. The noisy girls run in different social circles to Pike and his buddy Benny, constantly getting on each other's nerves. Later in the night Jeff decides to give his friend Andy a lift home, while his other mate Grueler decides to walk. He doesn't get far before being approached by the 1200-year-old vampire Amelie. Jeff and Buffy spend the night together while a news story plays in the background, with the reporter saying that a string of gross hickeys have now killed four people in town, and the third victim's body disappeared from the morgue. That night Buffy dreams of a life in the past, where she is killing vampires with superpowers but gets easily defeated by a king vampire called Lothos. Amelin reports back to his master that he has begun a new family, and they will soon again be legion. Buffy is one of the mean girls at Hemery High, and discusses the theme of the next dance with her friends Kimberly, Jennifer, Nikki, and a studious girl they seem to all rag on named Cassandra. While Jeff and Andy mock their theme ideas the school counselor Gary Murray moves the kids along. That night at a bar that serves coffee to minors, the girls have a run-in with Pike and Benny again, where the boys share a hot dog and discuss how much they hate each other, before Buffy wastes Benny's wiener. When the two friends leave the bar and stumble home drunk they stop for a little rest, but Amelin shows up and takes Benny. <laughs> Merrick arrives to save Pike before he gets taken as well, being too drunk to realize what has happened to his friend. One day after gym practice, Buffy is approached by Merrick, he informs her that she is the chosen one, a slayer destined to kill vampires, asking her to come to a graveyard with him to prove that she naturally isn't very trusting. No, no. Initially thinking he has just passed his medication, she is convinced when he is able to describe her dream in detail. I will show you. Merrick takes her to the cemetery, where the two go to the grave of a recently deceased and he hands Buffy a wooden stake. Some time passes and the vampire begins to rise, but instead of going for her he attacks Merrick. Oh. Buffy is grabbed by a second one before she can save him, but kicks herself free and stakes the first. The second then casually jogs at her straight into Mr. Pointy. When dropping her back at home, Merrick warns her to keep this a secret, otherwise she won't be hunting the vampires, they will be hunting Slayer. That night Pike receives a visit from the now-turned Benny, who begs him to invite him in, saying that he is hungry. I'm hungry! The half-cut Pike tells him to leave, as he doesn't know he is a vampire but doesn't trust people who can float. Come on man, get away from here! While again Lothos projects himself into the Slayer's dreams. After studying late Cassandra gets taken by Amelin, and offered up as a sacrifice for his master to sire. The next day in the girl's locker room Merrick shows up, Buffy warns him that it is a naked place but he insists on beginning training. Years of training. She repeatedly tries his patience with her frivolous nature and indifference to slaying, so he throws a knife at her head to show her potential. Angry at him due to almost murdering her, she punches him in the face, enjoying the feeling so she decides to train. Buffy begins to show abilities not previously known to her, including heightened agility, senses, and endurance, even getting cramps when a vampire is nearby. She practices stake throws and fly kicks over and over again, eventually using the combination in the field. Her slaying begins to make her late for classes, which Mr. Murray picks up on so he questions her thinking that she must be on drugs. Buffy ignores him and shows her newfound abilities, by accurately spitting a thumbtack at a fly, killing it. As Buffy's watcher, it is Merrick's duty to guide and train her, having been looking for her unsuccessfully for years. The two bond as he tells her the history of Slayers, and that he has served them for centuries, having knowledge of his duty from the moment he is born. Pike's had enough of this town and packs his shit up while telling Thomas Jane to run if he sees Benny. But before he can leave his van breaks down, and he is jumped by a group of vampires led by Amelin. Running the minions down, Pike speeds through a park with Amelin trying to get in, until eventually severing his arm with a tree and crashing the van. Amy sends his goons to kill Pike but before they can, Buffy shows up and easily slays them both. Lothos's acolyte returns to him defeated, being yelled at for leaving the other two behind just because he lost an arm. A confused and possibly concussed Pike passes out, so Buffy brings him back to her place to get patched up. She explains why she's acting like a different person than she was three weeks ago when they first met, and they begin to develop a relationship. Buffy goes to sleep while Pike takes watch. The next day at school Buffy is now shown to be an outcast from her friends, and threatens the handsy Andy while ignoring Jeff. Though she still keeps up her cheerleading even against Merrick's wishes. At that night's basketball game Grueler shows up. Go team, go! Having been turned into a vampire he starts winning easily for Hemery High, even floating in public and revealing himself to Buffy. 
After Ben Affleck hands him the ball Buffy decides to attack, but instead of fighting back Gruller flees from the game. Buffy steals some guy's motorcycle to keep up with the vampire, and is spotted and followed by Pipe. She tracks the vamp to a parade float storage yard, where she begins to get her warning cramps. Gruller pops out with some minions so the Slayer tries to talk him down, when that doesn't work Buffy and Pike slay the three together. With Pike staking one, Buffy staking another, and another dying from Buffy scissoring the back of its head, before having another brief moment with Pike. When the pair come up upon Lothos he begins to hypnotize Buffy, while the unaffected Pike is confronted by his lefty rival Amalek. Merrick arrives in the nick of time to save them, but has his own stake reversed on him by Lothos, snapping Buffy out of her dream state but slowly dying, as Lothos and Amalin leave Buffy to stew. The next day at school she tries to tell her old friends about the plague upon the town, but their shallowness can't see past the fact that she is now hanging out with Pike. Buffy feeling responsible for Merrick's death, since she couldn't lift a finger against Lothos, resigns from slaying and goes back to dress shopping for the dance. Buffy? But a stalking Benny overhears her argument with Pike, and word gets back to Lothos that Buffy is the slayer. At the senior dance Buffy tries to patch things up with her friends, but finds that Jeff went to the dance with Jennifer. As a result Buffy is all by herself without a dance partner, however Pike shows up looking dapper and asks her to cut a rug. While the two begin kissing, minions of Lothos begin smashing the windows, having been invited to the party by Kimberly since they're all seniors. They tell Buffy to come outside, or else they will come in and kill all the students, so she takes some stakes from Pike's bag and heads out alone, with Mr. Murray's detention threats meaning nothing. I'm not afraid to use them. Buffy confronts the vampires outside performing kick after kick, but eventually becomes overwhelmed and runs past Jeff who's getting his Jenny on. Amelin tells the others to stay back while he goes for the Slayer himself, and the minions begin tearing the dance apart while some students try to fight back. After Nikki gets taken by a bloodsucker, Pike sees some success in fighting until coming face to face with Vampiric Benny, Come on, play like a man. who throws him around the room trying to convince him to join him in immortality. When going to bite him Pike throws holy water in his face, then slams him against a power box electrocuting him. Buffy is blindsided by Amelin and runs away, but when he begins to attack her with his one arm, she easily dodges everything he throws at her. Suddenly Lothos arrives playing violin, not to help Amelin, but to play him off as Buffy stakes him. Leading Amelin to have the most dramatic death in cinema. Lothos hypnotizes Buffy again, but the dance music stops thanks to Benny, and the silence snaps her out of her trance. Please. She tries a cross on Lothos but he ignites it, so she uses hairspray to set him on fire and escapes back to the gym. Kimberly sees Buffy and gets hysterical, so Mr. Murray having handed out detentions knocks her out. Lothos breaks through the gym wall and begins to try kill Buffy now instead of turning her. The two fight while the students watch on, until eventually the Vampire King gets the better of her. But Pike shows up and jumps Lothos, giving Buff enough time to find a stake and pierce his heart, finishing him off with a flourish. As all of the surviving students leave, Buffy wakes the unconscious Pike up having been knocked out by Lothos, so the two can finish their dance. And the movie ends. Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a 1992 comedy horror directed by Fran Rubel Kuzui. The film took a different direction than its writer Joss Whedon intended, rectifying the issues five years later with the television series of the same name. Buffy. Yeah, figures. In which Buffy starts the series at Sunnydale High, having been expelled from her former school for burning down the gymnasium. Ha! Remember? In the Buffy origin comic Merrick killed himself to escape being turned by Lothos. Are you addressing I? Both actors Donald Sutherland and Rutger Hauer appeared in Salem's Lot 12 years later as servant and master. Detention! 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 Detention, detention. I think that's all. Nope. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more.